My name is Alex Tarnava. I am the founder and CEO of Drink HRW, and today I'm here with my good friend Robert Slovak. Now, Robert is a water scientist and engineer. He has been prolific in pioneering new technologies regarding water. He is largely and widely regarded as one of the grandfathers of reverse osmosis, held many patents in the field, and he was the very first person in North America to bring over hydrogen water. Now, he laid a lot of the groundwork. None of us would be where we are in hydrogen without Robert, so it's always an honor. And Thank he is you. going to show us about the AquaTrue reverse osmosis system. Well, thanks for the introduction and the compliment. This is, I've spent 47 years, they say, developing drinking water appliances and all forms of residential, commercial, industrial water purification systems. But probably I'm best known for introducing what we call point of use, which is one location that makes water for drinking, uh, point of use drinking water systems. And they can use a, a myriad of technologies. They can use co activated carbon treatment, it's distillation and reverse osmosis. So most of my career was spent really advancing this technology that came out in the late 1960s and I was fascinated by it. I left the aerospace industry and immediately started experimenting with my brother in developing and using this renewed reverse osmosis membrane technology to produce high quality drinking water. And today reverse osmosis probably makes a well over 90% of the bottled waters in the world. So you can see that it's done its job for the last 50 years. Absolutely. Um, these point of use appliances, I guess we could call them, come in many varieties, the reverse osmosis type. Um, the first one I ever made was a countertop one. It fit on the counter and you hooked up kind of an umbilical cord to the faucet and you turned on the water pressure and away it went. Pressure forced water through the membrane, leaving the impurities behind. And then as the market advanced, we made them more permanent installations. We put them under the sink and you just out of sight and you just had a, a faucet or a, a spout on the sink and you um, dispense the water for all, all of your needs, cooking, drinking, etc., the pets. And we designed every type of it. Now, as I got more and more involved in the health aspects and physiological uh, understanding of body, etc., um, I became concerned in mm, maybe 2004 that especially under St. Rose systems had a problem of becoming microbial incubators. Okay. Okay. And this, of course, just doesn't fit into the behavioral disorders and the autism and so on, because gut problems almost always accompany that. And they, they've like, uh, got problems <coughs> potentially with Parkinson's disease now and uh, autoimmune diseases, which Parkinson's may or may not be an autoimmune right. disease. So okay. excessive microbes yeah. will always challenge your immune system, yeah. uh, even if they're not pathogens per se, disease causing, but just excess microbes. You know, if you eat, if you leave a salad out or cottage cheese out too long, you can get sick from it because the, the microbes uh, proliferate. And under sink RO systems have this problem. And I was the one who brought it to the attention of the industry, but this was a long time ago when we didn't really have the complications of gut problems and chronic disease that we are facing now. But I brought it to everyone's attention and every, for the last five years, I've always spoken at autism conferences. Like they want to know from Robert Slovak, what kind of water should we give our child who's in this uh, situation? And I would, I, I, it would break my heart every year to give a conference and say, listen, I'm Robert Slovak. I'm one of the world experts in reverse osmosis technology, but I, I have some bad news. And the bad news is that you can't use your under sink RO system to give this water directly to your child with autism. It's going to uh, add to his gut problems, etc. 
So, uh, and I would tell them, here's what you have to do. You have to drain that system every other day to always replenish and fresh water. And for your child, if he really has serious gut problems, you have to use a, a little sterilizer pen called a SteriPen that you can buy almost anywhere, a camping store, Amazon, to sterilize his water. That's how bad it can be. Interesting. And what makes the oxygen? <laughs> Superior. Okay. Yes, and so one, and this is last year on my birthday of all things. I am our birthday. Oh, our birthday <laughs> for for all the <laughs> listeners. Uh, coincidentally, Robert and I share a birthday. Mm -hmm. He is, you know, my senior, forty years from the date, but probably looks only thirty. So thank you. So every year, uh, or on this last year on my birthday. It was really perhaps one of the happiest birthdays I've ever had. Because after all those years of telling them they couldn't drink their regular RO water, I said, here, we finally have a solution. We have a system that makes the best RO quality water. And you don't have to worry about microbes proliferating in this sealed tank. So this, I was so proud to, to introduce this product. And it's called AquaTrue, and it is a full uh, like a miniature bottled water plant right here, countertop. You can pick it up, take it somewhere if you really need to and put it in your RV or take it to your summer home and use it in your kitchen. So this makes roughly 20 to 35 gallons a day. All right. Incredible. I mean, what family needs? No, no, it makes more than you need. And one great thing is that it's designed because it's not a sealed tank and this is available open to the environment. You don't have this natural microbial incubation in the sealed tank. Okay. And microbes just don't like to grow in pure water being exposed to air. Okay. okay. So. They always want to be hidden from the environment and be, they don't want to be bothered, but here, this is great. So here, we're going to show you how this works. First, the installation, well, this, there kind of is none, okay? You, 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 all you do is open the box, pull it out. Now you do have, and here I'm going to, I'm going to show you the, the operating system, so to speak. This is the four-stage reverse osmosis system right here. It consists of three cartridges. There are uh, two filters, two technologies built into the first filter. That's stage one and two. This is stage three, and this is stage four. So two filtration steps, a membrane, a reverse osmosis membrane, and a post filter to remove any subtle molecules of low molecular weight organics that could possibly even make it through the other two filters. I just filled this up at the uh, kitchen sink and it has this wonderfully convenient and effective handle to carry the water. I put it in the slot and it's already producing water nearly instantly. And you'll watch this tank fill up when it's filled to a particular point, rough, almost three liters, uh, it will uh, automatically shut off and this is a very smart design in other words it knows when the crafts and tank and containers are in place or not if I take this off it automatically knows to shut off if I take this out and I want to fill with more water I it'll automatically turn off when I put it in it automatically starts again so it also it shows here during its operation that it's going through four stages. It lights up one, two, which are in the first cartridge, three, and four. And when any one of the lights, this measures how much water actually is going through it. And it has an algorithm of this measurement to know when to tell the customer to change the filters. So when one of these uh, indicated cartridges uh, stays on and doesn't uh, uh, doesn't go off showing its process uh, that's time to change it within the next 30 days Interesting. now Robert I know you've mentioned to me in, in all of your years with reverse osmosis and various technologies that this is 
by far the most sophisticated countertop unit that you've seen and the cheapest. Yes. <laughs> Is that just technology advancing and becoming more available? Yes, I mean, I think it's clever manufacturing, um, clever injection molding. Uh, I mean, this is really the first, shall we say, high-end appliance RO countertop system, perhaps in the world. I know of no other one that's this user-friendly, this automatic, this convenient, this easy to change filters, and this inexpensive. Yeah. Incredible. And now, a lot of the criticism of RO in the health community is when you're filtering out all the contaminant, contaminants, mm -hmm. you're also getting rid of a lot of the minerals that we need, especially magnesium, right. which roughly 80% of people in North America are deficient in. Right. So luckily we do have the hydrogen tablets. Now the tablets contain magnesium and when they react with water to create the hydrogen, we're delivering a highly bioavailable magnesium with you. Correct. So the only criticism of RO really for health we're solving with magnesium H2 tablets. So let me just review the mineral question. It's one of the most common ones. First, if we just look at the entire North America, minerals in water, they vary from virtually nothing to too high to drink, okay? So there is no magic to the minerals in tap water. You can't count on them. They may be in the wrong proportions. They may be in the wrong form or etc. So there's nothing wrong with not getting those minerals. Yeah. If you don't have any water purification system and you're always drinking your tap water, you better take a mineral and trace element supplement, period. So then on the contaminant side, the only way to remove all this incredible list of contaminants that have been identified, I mean hundreds, that include disinfection byproducts, synthetic organic chemicals, plasticizers, pharmaceuticals, um, personal care products are in the water supply. When this, they, you know, the alphabet soup of contaminants, there's only one way to really eliminate them all, and that's to eliminate everything in the water first. And then you replenish it with minerals or supplement it with something like the hydrogen tablet which gives you a great dose of magnesium with each tablet. Okay, well, Robert, thanks again for talking to me today. You are welcome. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you.